Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Patek Photography and Gear Reviews. Um, once again, I'm going to talk to you about e-learning and an audio video syncing issue that I think will help you if you're like us and you're doing YouTube videos. Um, at least I hope it'll help you. The last month or so on my day job and blowing my brains out having issues when recording with Camtasia Studio 8. Um, you know, when the recording is finished, I can't get the audio and the video. It's not synced properly, and I think I've resolved the problem. I did like most people would do. You know, I checked the FAQs and, and did a lot of troubleshooting myself. And what I've come to is that I've actually gone back to my old Flash website building days when if we were building a Flash site and there was video in it, we always cut the video back to 15 frames per second, especially if we're going to the U.S. because the internet speeds were in the U.S. They were typically 80% of the U.S. market was 70% dial-up as a pair, uh, compared to Canada where it was the other way around. Now, I think things have changed a little bit in the last four or five years, so that may or may not be true, but what I found when you're recording with Camtasia Studio 8 for the PC or Camtasia version 2 on the Mac is that, especially on the PC, knock your frame capture rate on your screen capture back to 15 frames per second and also on your webcam capture, knock it back to 15 frames per second. And for your webcam, make the, the webcam capture size, the dimensions, as small. Just do, do them as, as large as what you need. The, you don't make it 1280p, or sorry, 1080p, if all you need is 360p. So let's take a look. We'll, we'll talk about the, P, the uh, Mac first, and then we'll get into the PC. So on the Mac, if you go to, if you're in Camtasia, and you go to Preferences, um, You'll open a panel in Preferences. It, it comes up with this panel here like you see it. And if you click on Recording, it says Screen Frame Rate. What you want to do is set your screen capture frame rate to 15 frames per second. You've got a choice of 5, 10, 15, 25, and 30. You don't need any more than 15 because YouTube's going to break it down to 15 frames per second anyway to compress the video when they load it on the YouTube channel. So uh, because that's because they've got so many videos they're uploading. They're, they, you know, they have to worry about server space and all those kind of issues. So that's the first thing. If you're working on a Mac, go to Preferences, set your screen frame rate. Now, the second thing to be aware of is the webcam that you know, you're viewing me on right now is a Logitech C930E. It adjusts the frame rate dynamically based on uh, the, 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 the system that you're using. So you can't go in and manually adjust the frame rate, at least as far as I know. And to be quite honest with you, I haven't needed that functionality on the Mac because most of our YouTube videos are 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the audio video sync issue comes into play when you're doing like long recordings, like webinars that are an hour, hour and 15 minutes, hour and 45 minutes. That's when you're really taxing your resources and you have to be careful. So let me just take a look here. Okay, so this is what the uh, capture of the recording menu looks like on the Mac. And... It's very similar to the PC, except you just don't have that extra adjustment that you do on the PC. Now, if we jump over the PC version, there's your recording window. And if you click on, so you can you can click on the drop down for audio, you can click on the drop down for the webcam and make your adjustments. What you want to do, it doesn't matter whether you, you click either drop down here, click the drop down and you'll see a window that looks like this. Click on Options. From Options, you're going to open up this window here. And this is where you're going to make all your key adjustments in Camtasia Studio 8 on a PC version. So first thing, screen capture rate. Um, the default is 30. I'm not really sure why. Knock it down to 15 frames per second. The only time you need 30 frames per second is if you're doing motion graphics, like the intro you saw to this video. However, probably what you saw was 15 frames per second, which is, is what it's being served up as. It looks just fine. Um, but there are situations where you may need 30 frames per second, so just keep it in mind. But if you're just recording PowerPoints and simple you know, recordings, set your screen capture rate to 30 frames per second. You can select your audio device here. Then you can move down to your webcam device. So on the PC, I'm using a C920. And if you click Format Settings, you'll come to this, this panel here. And under Format Settings, this is where you can set the dimensions of your picture-in-picture -picture, uh, video capture from your webcam. So you can see I've set it to 640 by 480 because you can crop it afterwards anyways. 
and your frame rate again you want to knock this down to 15 frames per second so you're effectively setting your webcam capture to 15 frames per second and your screen capture to 15 frames per second and over the past month i've tested this on a macbook pro an alienware 14 heavy duty gaming pc uh, another uh, dell laptop hp z400 and an hp z420 you know fairly substantial desktop pc machines and all of my syncing issues um, have been resolved just by knocking everything back to 15 frames per second so i hope that helps you give it a try if you're trying to do long webinars and you're having this audio video sync issue um, i have noticed some videos out there there was one video that suggests to go into your device your control panel on the pc and turn off the right cache or the buffer caching or something like that and and um i i did give it a try and and uh, my results were were okay with it but you run the risk of losing your data if the the power to your machine is cut off so i think a, a much safer way to go is just knock your frame capture rates back to 15 frames per second uh, both on your screen and on your webcam and you'll have some great success so again i hope that helps you uh, we'll see you soon with another great review don't forget to subscribe and like us and uh have a great day bye for now